Okay, hello Aquarius, it's Elle here to do a quick reading for you. This is going to be about um, who's thinking about you and what's coming towards you, okay? So um, let's go ahead and jump into this. Thank you, God, for blessing the Aquarius Collective with a clear, concise message from you. Um, let's get into it. So let's see. Um, who's coming towards the Aquarius? Well, who's thinking about the Aquarius, firstly? Who has the Aquarius on their mind? Who has the Aquarius on their mind? Who has the Aquarius on their mind? Who has the Aquarius? Okay. Uh, the Wheel of Fortune and the Magician. All right, so you got somebody who's very dynamic. This could have been a high-level soulmate. Um, this is definitely a masculine energy somebody who's very powerful they use their work they can really articulate how they're feeling they're very persuasive okay this is something like a salesman they know a salesman they know what to say how to say it they know how to put things together this could be someone who always made you think uh what, what you thought it was they tried to shift uh, your perspective and maybe at times they were good at it um, they succeeded here Who's thinking of you is maybe someone who you, a cycle ended with. Uh, you ended a cycle with them. You close out a door. It could be one of the fixed signs. What is that? Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius. Um, this is somebody who uh, you used to be able to, or you can still communicate with them telepathically. There's some psychic intuition here between the two of you. This is somebody who... Um, your spirit guides, your angels, they would give you downloads about this person or vice versa. This is what's happening with them. This is someone who um, you felt like was very powerful, like they got shit done. This is a, you know, a self-starter. This is a self-made person here. Whomever is thinking about you. Um, what does this person want with the Aquarius? What does this person want with the Aquarius? What does this person want with the Aquarius? Okay. Okay, so um, they want to uh, salvage the connection. They could even want to at least have a conversation with you. They want to rectify all of the drama, um, the hardship, the discord, the dysfunction between the two of you. They feel like they have accepted, you know, no activity between the two of you for long enough. Um, they feel like they've taken a passive approach in terms of this relationship, in terms of moving it forward. But now they feel like they want to come back to you and maybe offer compromise here. Um, even offer, uh, okay, resolution. Yeah, resolution, conclusion. Um, they want to say something to you. They definitely want you guys to come out of, you know, drama. Come out of not getting along. What is the advice for the Aquarius dealing with this person? You could be dealing with a Sagittarius. You got Sag coming up heavy. Virgo, Gemini, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Um, and then also you could be dealing with maybe a King of Cups. So that could be Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer. But I typically see that as Pisces or uh, Scorpio, but definitely Pisces. What is the advice for Aquarius? Okay, these cards want to come out. Let's see. And this is going to be a quick reading. All right. Four of Pentacles, the Eight of Cups, the Tower, and the Chariot. All right. So the advice for some of you is just going to be that you need to get a grip and move on. This situation is not going to yield you what you want. It could have been, you know, when you were with this person. Because I really feel like you guys are not together. Um, it was a, it, it got stuck, stagnant, toxic. Because somebody was so, you know, dominating or domineering to where they were kind of, they were trying to exert their will over you or on you. You guys didn't want the same thing, but at the same time, this person didn't want you to make any independent decision about the relationship, maybe leaving it, walking away from. They didn't want you to think that they were what they really were. And that is a person that was not going to give you what you were looking for. Um, with the four of pentacles here, yeah, it seems as if maybe they kept the relationship stagnant. They kept, excuse me, they kept you outside of their heart space, outside of their, their home, or you kept somebody outside of your home or your heart 
more so the heart like somebody was closed down like their heart chakra was blocked and it was closed down because they may have some deep issues that they needed to deal with from the past it could even be childhood issues abuse neglect somebody was very domineering with them they don't know how to love they don't know how to be open they don't know how to be vulnerable all they know how to do is possess and this is what they did when they were with you they possessed you by way of what they would say how they were formulated how they would make you think uh, uh, kind of gaslighting you um they could also have ghosted you at times and then they would show back up uh, the advice here for the Aquarius is to understand in the eight of cups, you, you might not get what you want. It's a tough emotional decision, but understand Aquarius, you, you're sitting on this rock, but you really know the truth of the matter. Yes, you may have to move on, move on in, in secrecy, maybe even in shame of not getting what it, what it is you wanted. Uh, move on, having knowing that you invested your emotions into something or someone that just was not reciprocating and maybe never will, but you have to move on something about finishing up and moving on too for some of you it's like finish up something i don't know at least uh the paperwork and then move on the tower card it says all of a sudden um when you do move on maybe this part some some res, um residual uh emotions sentiment sentimental emotions will resurface for someone here especially when they see you in control of your emotional state and your mental state and your you're dominating. You're you're victorious. You you have gone in a new positive direction, says the chariot, and that's what you need to do, and that's what you need to be focused on. Um, can we give Aquarius a, a backstory in terms of this person? Can we give Aquarius a backstory in terms of this person? What's the backstory about this person? What's the backstory? What's the backstory? What's the backstory about this person? Um, okay, so the backstory is that they feel safe with you. Um, we've got um, trying to uh, save my marriage in reverse. So it looks like they weren't even trying to keep the relationship intact together or the marriage. Um, so in some of you, this may directly correlate with this eight of cups. Like you need to finish some paperwork and then move on. You need to finalize something. What's the backstory for this person? These two cards wanted to fly out. You may have told this person, don't talk to me anymore. This is what they said to you. Um, and you may have said this in March, or they could be born in March. You could be dealing with a Piscean person. Um, at the bottom of the deck, we have the fact that they were hiding several affairs from you. They try to keep this from you, um, maybe even by way of gaslighting you. Um, when you knew what you knew, they would combat you with you know their words they knew what to say um maybe the the breakdown the divide started to happen in march there was something significant about march and maybe it'll be something significant about about march 2022 for us um yeah let's where are we okay two more uh minutes let's see what can aquarius look forward to in their near future what can the aquarius look forward to in their near future what can aquarius look forward to in their near okay imprisonment not you but somebody else i'm hoping so and and this card doesn't necessarily talk about physical imprisonment now it could but it, it most times it talks about confinement being stuck confined um, and most times it talks about in your mental, you're mentally confined, stuck, not able to stop thinking about, and this could be how this other person is feeling. What can Aquarius look forward to in their near future? You get two cards, uh, the courthouse, some of you, somebody owe you money or child support. They may be getting, going to jail, and then you might receive a message that, um, maybe the courts have recovered or recouped your money you also um there's somebody in prison in their mind they're thinking about how wrong they did you and maybe that they owe you um you want to get what's done you want to get what's due to you um at the bottom of the deck we have toil and labor there were some relationships some something was hard to deal with um you did a lot of hard work in order to get something back or to get away from uh one okay there we are one more card i knew it so there's some masculine energy who will be imprisoned in his thoughts about maybe a feminine energy because they are separated he has accepted the fact that there is no 
communication between the two of them, but he still will long for her. I think this is the karma that this person will um, have to endure uh, of always thinking about this person, always thinking about what if, maybe even kind of measuring everyone up to this person who got away. All right. So this is what I have for you, Aquarius. If it resonates, go over to the website, book your own reading there. Take advantage of the text question where you can text a question to the number below, pay for your question, receive the answer to your question on your mobile device. You could also donate to the channel by clicking the buy L a coffee link below. Thank you guys. Many blessings to you. Take care. Oh, keep in mind, I'm live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 930 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you guys. Take care.